things happening out there that you saw that opened the door for them to go on a big run? Um, you know, I think our, our defensively, you know, let up a little bit. A lot of it, though, I think was, um, you know, they turned some bad shots on our end. Um, some careless turnovers on our end into easy baskets. And then once you, you know, a good team like that, once they establish a rhythm offensively, and they, you know, start flying off the screens, knocking down shots, guys kind of, you know, start getting in more of a rhythm. And that's sort of what happened in the second half. You know, the momentum definitely shifted, but a lot of it was just, you know, us, um, bad shots, careless turnovers leading to good offense for them. How heavy were the emotions and reaction to David going down? Yeah, I mean, you, you never want to see that. I mean, it's, you know, one of your brothers, he's a part of the Nets family. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, you think about, you know, all the time and work that you put in together, um, how hard he's worked and, you know, you, you never want to see that happen. You know, we're all at the end of the day, even the guys in the Spurs, you never want to see injuries like that happen, you know, where something significant like that, um, you know, it makes, makes guys emotional. It's tough on everybody. Um, and obviously, you know, that's where our, our, um, you know, hearts and minds are at right now. It's just with David hoping, you know, it's not as, um, severe as what, as what they think um but you know at the end of the day um that's that's what's most important is guys health and uh it's you know one of those things where you take it for granted until it's compromised would you have a view of it at all it seems like he, he slipped i don't know i didn't i didn't see it and uh, i don't know the extent of the injury but you just pray and hope that it's not as bad as what everyone anticipates when you guys like gathered you around him i mean what was the i guess the message to him i mean what could you guys you tell, tell him, him that? no you just tell him that everybody's thinking of him that's all you can do at that point um you know, there's a lot that's out of your control, and you know, you just tell them that you know your your hearts and your minds are with them, thinking about them, praying for them. You've seen a lot of this stuff over the past three years with this team. How hard is it to pull yourself together and regroup after losing an important cause like that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, I mean. You know, we're fortunate to be in this position, but, you know, we play a game and, you know, you, know, you don't want to see people's, this is, at the end of the day, this is Dave's job, and you don't want to see him not have the ability, you know, to um, to work, you know, to provide. It's just it's just one of those things where it's, it's extremely difficult and it, it weighs on you and it's very emotional. Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, again, you try and control what you can control and, you know, um, as unfortunate as it is, you just keep them on your mind and hope that, you know, hope for the best, honestly. Thoughts from the locker room, especially on 